What's up everybody, this is Adam with Reese Customs. And if you have a vehicle that has a badge like this, that every single other vehicle made has the same exact one, and you want something different, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take this off, we're gonna make a custom badge out of epoxy, resin, and uh, mount it on here. So let's get to it. All right, <clears throat> so we're in the shop, we got some supplies out, and uh, if you watched my last video, which I'll link it up here, it talks about the basics of resin casting and different kind of things you'll need. And so to recap a little bit from that video, we got a pressure pot, our scale, we got our dyes, and we got our uh, resin. This is uh, Lumilite uh, Clear. It's fast, the pot life seven minutes. Um, <clears throat> it's a little cool today, so may not be able to demold it in the time that it says, but you know, uh, we'll at least cast it today. We also have our silicone mold, and this is uh, two videos ago. I'll post that link as well. Go back and watch it after this video. I'll also include a link in the description. But uh, we went through making this mold, and this was a Transformers logo that I three that I designed in Fusion, three D printed. We're going to cast it, <clears throat> and then we'll use some three uh, M adhesive tape uh, to adhere to the truck. That's what the factory logos are adhered with. It's just like a double sided tape. We're gonna do the same thing with this. I only have one of these, so we're gonna to have to cast this twice. So for today, we're gonna to cast one. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna mix up my colors. I, I don't want it to stand out and be like blatantly obvious. I mean, that, that'd be kind of, that's not really my style. So I'm gonna mix up like a silver. I got Illumilite black and white, and then I have pearl white and black pearl but what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix up a silver color i'm going to divide that in two and i'm going to put white pearl in one and black pearl in the other and then we'll pour them we'll swirl it as we pour it together so just it'll be kind of a cool look to it so we'll start off with equal parts by weight of uh the lumilite clear so i'm just going to guess i don't know how much i'll need i didn't i should have measured it out but i didn't so we'll just guess Let's do 70 grams of each. Or 71, because that's where it stopped. So one, one thing you can do is just fill your mold up with water and pour it into a cup, and that's gonna tell you how much resin you'll need. So um, <clears throat> I'm probably gonna have a lot extra. <laughs> But that's okay. What I do is I leave it in the cup, let it harden, and then I can turn that on the lathe into something else or whatever. So we poured 71, so now we're gonna pour another 71. So it'll be 142 total. So I'll stop at 142. And remember this stuff has the seven minute pot uh, seven minute pot life. So we don't delay. Although it's cold today, so it'll be a little bit longer. Well, I was talking, I went over, I went to 148. So that means I need to add uh, six more, seven more grams of this. No. <laughs> oh, brain fart, this is not a good time for this. I don't know if my math's wrong, because I'm cold and rushed, and my phone's uh, recording right now, so I can't look at my calculator, so. I should have zeroed my scale and just uh, put another 71, but that's okay. And you can see with this stuff, it's very foggy, but once you got it mixed, it'll clear up. And remember, we're not worried about bubbles here, because we are uh, casting it under pressure. 
and you can see hopefully you can see the difference so now it's clear Now I'm going to divide this up about half and half. Nowhere close. Now I'm going to scoop some pearl. I'm going to just put some pearl in here. Just measure with your soul, it'll be fine. That's a lot. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I'm going to put some black pearl in the darker section. Trash can's way over there. All right, so now we're just gonna pour these two together. This may look like total garbage, I don't know. If it does, we'll redo it. Bottom of the pot's round, so you gotta. When you put your, uh, if you have a holder like I have, and you put it in there, you gotta adjust it a little bit to make sure it's level. But we're gonna sand the back down to match the contour of the truck, anyways. That's why the mold is a little thicker than the final emblem's gonna be. I really hope it doesn't look like crap. It's like 10 bucks in resin, but who cares? All right, that looks, looks good. Put the lid on now. And so one thing to remember, this, uh, the air enters the chamber like this and kind of swirls around. So when we turn the air on, we're gonna turn our valve off first. When we turn the air on, we're gonna gently let it go in there so it doesn't blow that resin all around. And when we're tightening this thing, we'll kinda of get them all a little snug. And then we'll kinda of just work our way around. Make sure it's tight. or else it'll leak. And just like I talked about in the last video, I'll go up to about 40 PSI, something like that. So. this pressure relief valve this one sucks it leaks but now all we have to do is wait wait until it cures and uh, pull it out and see how it looks so I like to keep the resin in these cups because that kind of helps me indicate when this is going to be cured so when the resin in the cups cure I know I can open this up and this will be good to go so let's come back when it's cured all right so it's actually uh the next day, just went ahead and waited a whole day just because. So now 
the moment of truth, we will open up the pot and see what our first casting looks like. I just pulled pressure leak valve, it's the quickest way to get the air out. So, hopefully all is well, we shall see. Looks pretty good so far. You should see how it comes out of the mold. Now I didn't spray this with any mold release or anything. So let's see. <laughs> It came out good. It doesn't look really good. It looks kind of black, but uh, let me bring it up close. So there it is. It doesn't really look good at all. So I think we're going to redo it. We got to make another one anyways for the other side. Well, let's take it out in the sun and see how it looks in the sun. So here it is in the sun. I don't know if you can see. It's got some sparkle to it from that pearl. Let's hold it up on the truck and see how it's going to look. I don't know. I think we might can work with that. So we'll just make another one to match. Okay, so in the sun, it looks okay. It um, It's kind of a mix between the silver of my truck and the black of the fender flares. It actually looks a lot like my bumper. It's kind of a dark silver, so we're just gonna keep it. Um, my middle daughter uh, approved of it as well, so we'll keep that. So now what we'll do, I'll mix up another batch, try to get it the same color, which, as you know, I was just winging it the first time, but, um, we have this to base it off of so we can get the same color and then uh, I'll get back to you when I got the second one made. So I'm not going to make you watch all that again, but we'll be back. Okay, so we got our two uh, emblems made and now it's time to get rid of this, the uh, factory logo. So those things are held on with some double sided tape. So the easiest way to get it off is with some dental floss. Just come behind the tape. Kind of work it. Down. I didn't realize there was holes there. <laughs> That's gonna uh, complicate things. Let me get my. So we stick this here. It's dusty. So that'll cover two of our holes. But we gotta do something for here. So what if we do like a little smaller F-150 to go here? And then put that there. We could do that, right? Yeah, so we'll just 3D print us a smaller F-150. Stick it over to the side here. We'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and get this tape off here because I already pulled it off, so might as well keep going. I didn't know about those things, though. So. All right, so we're going to hit a little bit with a heat gun just to warm it up because it's kind of chilly out here, too. But... So here's another trick. This is a uh, valve stem replacement valve stem. Chuck it up in the drill and use it kind of like a magic eraser. Alright, so now we got our logo gone, our sticker residue gone, our tape residue. Um, our new emblem 
it's going to sit about right here. Remember, we'll have to do something with that hole. We'll make another, maybe like a little small F-150, like shrink that one down and just put it right here. Something like that. But uh, this one's going to go here, but it's not going to sit flat because the panel is curved. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the panel to sand this to shape. So we'll take a set of piece of sandpaper up here. And then we'll just move it back and forth where it's going to go and eventually it'll wear down to when you notice it's sanding on the entire piece but then the contour is the same you can take it down and you can check it make sure it fits so let's do that now Well, what it seemed like hours, it was maybe like 20 minutes of sanding. Uh, you can see this is the one for the other side that hasn't been touched. And this is the one we've been sanding. And you see it has that contour there now. So hopefully you can see this is the, the one that hasn't been sanded. You can see the gap up there at the top or either at the bottom, see how it rocks. And the one that has been sanded sits on there tight. Nice and contoured to the body, no rocking. So now we're ready to clean it up, put some tape on this thing and stick it on the truck. All right, so I got the area cleaned off, cleaned it off with alcohol, make sure there's no uh, residue there for our uh, emblem. I've got some of this Gorilla double-sided tape. It claims to hold 30 pounds, uh, one pound per two inches. It's 30 inch or 60 inches of tape. It's a marketing scheme, but I've got I don't know two and a half, five, six, maybe seven inches of tape on here. So three or four pounds of holding. I don't know. It may blow off going down the road. I don't know. We'll see. But uh. All I'm going to do is peel the back side of this tape off, get it exactly where we want it, and that should be it. There it is on the truck. So let me clean all this off and uh, we'll see how it looks cleaned up. I may hate it, may want to pull it off. I don't know, we'll see. So that is how easy it is to take an idea, 3D print it, duplicate it in resin, and make a final product. Now, in my case, it was this uh, emblem for the side of the truck. It, the road's loud. Um, in your case, it may be uh, who knows what, but it's very easy to work with. Uh, it was fun, fun little project to do. Something just to make the truck a little bit different from all the other ones on the road. Um, remember we got this other hole that we didn't know about so I'll probably make another little F-150 logo stick it right there and uh, we'll see how I like it and the cool thing is if you don't like it peel it off get the tape off just like we did before stick the factory room back on there and it's, you're good to go so if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up please um, if you like the kind of stuff I do consider subscribing to the channel and uh, Leave me a comment what you thought about this, if this is a stupid idea, if it's cool, you know, whatever, if it's ugly, you know, whatever. Just leave me a comment, let me know, and uh, I'll see you next time.
Take it easy.